Hi, this is Joe from Manhattan Review. I'm pleased to introduce our GMAT grammar video series. Today I will tell you a bit more about what to expect in this comprehensive guide. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to catch each of the videos in this series and you'll be an English grammar expert in no time. As you may already know, for the most part, the GMAT does not test obscure grammatical rules. Instead, it takes basic to intermediate grammatical concepts and expects you to use logic and problem solving skills to find any grammatical errors. We aim to cover the grammar rules you must know before taking the GMAT. Whether you're answering sentence correction questions during the GMAT verbal section or are writing your own piece in the analytical writing assessment, you will want to be sure you are confident in the usage of basic to intermediate English grammar rules. By the end of this series, I hope that you feel assured in your ability to successfully craft and identify grammatically and logically sound sentences. There are 11 main categories we will cover, including parts of speech, sentence structure, nouns, pronouns, modifiers, adjectives, adverbs, prepositions, verbs, conjunctions, and finally style and usage. These videos do not have to be viewed in any specific order. However, I do suggest watching each video at some point during your GMAT preparation. For native level English speakers, it has likely been several years since reviewing some of these concepts. For those whose mother tongue is not English, these refreshers will help to solidify the grammatical lessons you have recently learned in your studies. I look forward to you joining me in this GMAT grammar series. Until next time, happy GMAT studies!